Hi everyone, welcome na po sa atong video tutorial. Dagan salamat guys sa, sa mga viewers na nag nag like. Gilabi na sa mga nag subscribe. Thank you kay ninyo. Ang atong topic karon is factoring a perfect square trinomial. So ang question, what is a perfect square trinomial? So mo sa atong atong i-discuss before tamo proceed sa factoring. A perfect square trinomial has first and last terms which are perfect squares and a middle term which is twice the product of the square root of the first and the last term. In the first place, a perfect square trinomial so dapat na asyay tulunga term. So example of a perfect square trinomial, we have x squared plus 2x plus 1. According to the definition, ang perfect square trinomial daw has first and last terms which are perfect squares. So, ang sabi mga perfect squares? Perfect squares, like x squared, so, ang kanang-tanan nyo mga, mga variable na exponent nga to are perfect squares. For the numbers, we have to list some examples of perfect square number. We have 1, it is a perfect square number. We have 4, we have 9, we have 16, we have 25, we have 36, we have 49, we have we have 64, we have 81, we have 100, we have 1 to 1, we have 144, we have 169, and so on. Okay, mo na mga example sa mga perfect square numbers. Ano mga perfect square numbers man sila? So, perfect square sila because we can express them, pwede natin siya express as a square of a number. So, pwede natin siya express as, for example, 1, pwede natin express ang 1 as 1 square. Ang 4, pwede natin siya express as 2 square. Ang 9, pwede siya express as 3 square. Maong kitawag sila ng mga perfect square number. Or it could be, kung ato kao niya yung square root, that is a whole number. For example, square root of 1 is 1. Square root of 4, that is 2. Square root of 9, that is 3. So, mga whole number ang atong makuha kung ato na kao ng root ni ini nga mga perfect square number. Okay, balik ta sa atong, try atong example of a perfect square trinomial. Okay, ato i-verify ka ron kung si x squared plus 2x plus 1 is a perfect square trinomial. Before ta mag-factor sa perfect square trinomial, dapat ato sa siya i-verify kung perfect square trinomial ba yun siya. Kaya kung dili, we cannot apply the concept or the trend on factoring a perfect square trinomial. So, ang saan mag-verify? Una, the first and the last term must be a perfect square. Ang x squared, yes, that is a perfect square. Ang 1, at nung gimension ganyan na, 1 is also a perfect square. Okay, unsa naman lang ang atong dapat i-verify? So, atong i-verify, dapat ang yung middle term must be twice, twice the product of the square root of the first and the last term. So, kanina tayo naman, no, atong ilet, ang yung mga, atong pangandlan, ang yung mga numerical coefficients para ato ma- sabot ni kaningan definition. So, ang first term, ato siya ilet as a. Ang, ang, iyang, ang iyang numerical coefficient, nyari, a. For the middle term, ang iyang numerical coefficient, ato siya ilet as b. And then, for the last term, or for the constant, we will let this, that one as c. So, a is the first term, b is the middle term, and c is the last term. According to definition, a perfect square trinomial have a middle term, na kung siya middle term, which is twice the product. So, middle term, asama ng middle term na to? After to middle term is B. So, a middle term daw is twice, when you say twice, that is times 2. Twice the product of the square root. So, the product, that is multiplication. The product 
of the square root of the first and last term. What is our first and last term? That is a and c. So that is the product of the square root of a and the square root of c. So, so ito verify kung kung equal ba. Okay, try. Our first term is ang atong a numerical equation sa x squared is 1 numerical equation sa middle term is 2 ang atong constant term is 1 So ito verify kaninga definition kung satisfy ba ang x squared plus 2x plus 1 so what is b our b is our b is 2 then that is equal to 2 square root of 1 and then c is also 1 so we have 2 is equal to 2 square root of 1 is 1 so you have 1 times 1 then we have 2 is equal to 2 times 1, that is 2, times 1, that is 2. So we have a KDR equal. Therefore, this is an example of a perfect square trinomial. Pero, more complicated man siya nga atong nahimo nga formula from the definition. So we can rewrite this one, atong yung i-manipulate ni siya nga, nga atong nakuhang equation. Kaya para mag atong gamiton sa mga next examples. So we have B is equal to 2 square root of A and square root of C. So, itong buhatan is, ato siya divide by 2 both sides. So, we have divide by 2. So, this 2 will be cancelled out. So, you have B over 2 is equal to square root of A and square root of C. And then, Ato siya is square, both side yapon. I square both side, it will become b over 2 quantity squared. And this radical sign, kaninga mga, kaninga mga square root, is makancel out siya kay square man. So that will become ac. So ato is switch ang equation. So we can have ac is equal to b over 2 square. So, kanikaron nga equation, kanikaron nga formula, muna itong gamitin sa mga next nga example. Remember, we have AC is equal to B over 2 square. So, let's proceed to the verification of a perfect square tanong niya. Lugon niya, kung man mag-verify, ato na siya i-factor. So, para makaibaw na mo sa on pag Factor sa perfect square tanam yan. Next example, we have x squared minus 4x plus 4. So, kaganina, natayaghi mo nga, natayaghi mo nga uh, equation or a formula to verify if the given is a perfect square tanam yan. So, unsa man to? That is, AC is equal to B over 2 square. Asan siya gikan? That is from the definition. Ato lang i-modify. Okay, modify siya pag-verify kung ang given is a perfect square trinomial. Remember, our A, B, and C, these are the, these are the numerical coefficients of the terms in a perfect square trinomial. So, ang atong A nga ri is 1. Okay? So, ang atong A is 1 ang atong B kay negative 4 and then ang atong C kay positive 4. So, we'll verify using this formula. So, we have AC that is 1 times 4 that is equal to B is negative 4. So, we have negative 4 over 2 square. So, 1 times 4 that is 4 and negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2 square. So, we have 4 is equal to negative 2 square. That is negative 2 times negative 2 and that is positive 4. So, that is equal. Therefore, this is a perfect square trinomial. So, ang perfect square trinomial siya, ang iyang factored form will be like this. Mawin siyang puro mas iyang, iyang mga factors. So, ang buhaton lang is imungkuhaon ang square root sa first term. So, square root sa x squared is 
x. And then, kopya ho ni mo ang sign sa middle term. Again, imong kopya ho ang sign sa middle term. Dili ang last term. Dili po ang first term. Ang imong basihan sa imong, imong sign dili is ang middle term. So, ang sign sa middle term is negative. So, you have x minus and then the square root of the last term. Square root sa last term kay 2. And then, that is square. So, the factored form of a perfect square trinomial is yun ano siya forma that is x minus 2 x minus 2 so this is now the factored form of x squared minus 4x plus 4 that is x minus 2 and x minus 2 so sa yun ra ang pag factor sa perfect square trinomial so ang importante lang is i mo siya ma-verify kung tinuod ba niya perfect square trinomial siya. Because not all trinomials are perfect square trinomial. Dili tanan. Ngay uban niya, mura lang ang perfect square trinomial. Pero kung mo siya i-verify, dili di ay. So let's proceed the next example. We have 4 x squared minus 4 x plus 1. So to verify if this is a perfect square trinomial. Una tong i-verify is dapat ang iyong first term is a perfect square. Okay? 4x squared is a perfect square. And the last term is also a perfect square. Yes, 1 is a perfect square. Then, we will use the formula. AC is equal to B over 2 square. Our A is 4. Our C is 1. So, we have 4 times 1. Our B is negative 4, then divided by 2, square. 4 times 1, that is 4. And we have negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2, square. So, we have 4 is equal to negative 2 square is positive 4. Yes, that is a perfect square trinomial. So, kung perfect square trinomial siya, ang iyong factor form is square root sa first term is 2x and then kopyahon ang sign sa middle term and then square root sa last term. Square root sa 1 is 1 and that is raised to 2. That is 2x minus 1 squared or ato siya expand, pwede siya that is 2x minus 1 and 2x minus 1. So, this is now the factor form of 4x squared minus 4x plus 1. That is 2x minus 1 and 2x minus 1. Let's proceed to the next example. We have 9x squared plus 12x plus 4. So, how do we verify this is a perfect square trinomial? Una, Ang first term must be a perfect square trinomial. Yes, 9 is a perfect square and x squared is also a perfect square. Then, the last term is 4, also a perfect square. So, ato na i-verify ang middle term by definition. So, kapit sa formula, we have AC is equal to B over 2 square. Our A is 9. Our C is 4. Then, our B is 12 divided by 2 square. 9 times 4, that is 36. 12 divided by 2, that is 6 square. So, we have 36 is equal to 6 times 6 or 6 square, that is 36. Therefore, this is a perfect square trinomial. So, let's proceed to the factoring. So, the factored form square root of the first term is 3x. Then, copy the sign of the middle term. We have plus. Then, square root of the last term is 2. And that is square. Or, this is equal to 3x plus 2. And, you have 3x plus 2. So, the factored form of 9x squared plus 
x plus 4 means 3x plus 2 and 3x plus 2. Again, sayon ra ang sayon ra ang pagfactor. Sayon ra ang pagfactor. Mur an ra ka simple ang pagfactor kung ang condition it is a perfect square trinomial. Pero kung dili, so you cannot apply the concept or the trend on factoring a perfect square trinomial. Importante is ato sama verify. Okay, let's proceed the next example. We have 4x squared minus 8x plus 16. So we'll verify if this is a perfect square trinomial. So the first term is a perfect square and the last term is also a perfect square. Yes. But we'll verify by using the formula AC is equal to b over 2 square. Our a is 4, our c is 16. And b, our b is negative 8 divided by 2 square. 4 times 16, that is 64. 64 and negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4 squared. So we have 64 is equal to negative 4 squared that is 16. They are not equal. So they are not equal, therefore this is not a this is not a perfect square. Therefore this is not factorable. Dili siya ma factor kay dili siya perfect square trinomial. We cannot apply the concept or the trend in factoring a perfect square trinomial kay ang given dili siya perfect square trinomial. Next example. We have 9 x squared minus 6x plus 1. Now let's verify if this is a perfect square trinomial. So the first term is a perfect square. The last term is also a perfect square. So we'll verify using the using the formula AC is equal to B over 2 square. Our A is 9. Our, our C is 1. And our B is negative 6 over 2 square. 9 times 1 is 9. Negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3 square. So that is 9 is equal to negative 3 times negative 3 that is positive 9. And that is equal. So therefore, this is a perfect square trinomial. So okay, perfect square trinomial man siya, ato siya factor. So ang factor niya is square root sa first term that is 3x. Then copy the sign of the middle term. And then, square root sa last term, that is 1. That is raised to 2. This is equal to 3x minus 1 and 3x minus 1. Important thing is, ato sa siya i-verify, if really, that is a perfect square trinomial. Kaya kung dili siya perfect square trinomial, then we cannot apply the concept or the trend in factoring a perfect square trinomial. That's all for this video. I thank you for watching. And for those who are not subscribed, subscribe na mo para update mo sa mga upcoming videos. And just click the notification bell. And thank you, Kainin.